Hiya, welcome to Rainbow Face Creations and today I'm going to go and try with a dragon, well, sort of like a dragon design. Um, I've drawn my little mock-up because I haven't got any dragon designs in mind so I thought I should really add one to my collection. So there we go. Yeah, so I'm going to give that a go today. I'm going to use a split cake with my half inch brush, flat brush, so we'll see how it goes. I'm actually looking a bit orange on this cam today for some reason. I haven't been under any sunbed. <laughs> so anyway, here we go. Let's get straight into it. So I'm going to try and pick up the greens. There is a yellow on this split case. It's forest. I don't know where it's from. I think it could be from... don't say where, but anyway, it's forest and it's a split cake. Just loads of different green shades and yellow. I think this will be a good one for boys. Um, at the moment I've only got like Spider-Man and Batman. So this will be a good one to add to my collection. Okay, so start with the dark on the outside and I'm going to bring it up. And just do wave effect up and around and drag down. I might need a bit more water in that one. It's more like um, sort of a butterfly idea. It won't look exactly like my design, it never does. <laughs> it's always different. That's the good thing, you don't want them to be exactly the same. If you're doing five kids the same, you've got to be a little bit different. So, dark on the outside. I'll just go over that. Um, up. Just going to bring it around. Like so. And I think I'm bringing it down here. So, yeah, it looks like a butterfly wing. Gonna do the same on the other side. Dark on the outside, and drag it up, and down, up. Can bring the brush off. Yeah, it's sort of dragony wing looking. <laughs> Put some more water on that split cake, a bit dry. How is everyone today? Hope you're having a nice day. And I'll carry on. So I've sort of got... Coming around, down, up. And then drag it, join it onto there. Again. Repeat the same on the other side. Try and get a nice point on that. Dragging it down. And join on. And then come up and join onto that last part. Just neaten that up a bit. Yeah, there we go. If you're not too happy, you can... Just make them sharper by just going over, remembering to keep the dark on the outside. And then up. Okay, so now I'm going to fill on in the inside. I've done the border, the outline. Just add some water to that. It's getting quite dry as that split cake. Try to get your brush when you're loading up. Make sure you get you know, majority quite down to the base, so you don't have to keep dipping in and out, so it lasts longer. So I've got a point on there, so I'll try and do, could add, could add a um, petal type thing, and drag it up and then go into the edge to get that nice edge to that, nice point on it, 
right here. It looks sort of dinosaur like. <laughs> okay, back in with the paint, reloading it. Now try and do the inside. You could go over to do another layer so it looks dark on the outside. I nearly went on the wrong way. Looks sort of scale like. Up. Yeah, that gives it a bit more definition. Dinosaur scales. It was a dragon, it's turned into a dinosaur. <laughs> That's the fun, fun of it. Just don't know what it's going to be until the end results. So back out there with the dark on the outside. I'm just going to go over that because I wasn't happy. That's much better. And then blend that in. And light part. Just using the top end of the brush and there a bit of shading in there that looks quite effective quite a quick design as well you can knock a few of these out quickly especially if you've got a big line of kids get a bit more on there I'll do the bottom um, Could move on to a smaller brush for the inside. I've just okay. I'll leave it at that. It's just too big for that section. So you could move in with a smaller brush. I'm just going to try and pull that darker up for the under the eye darken it here rather than light just gives it some shading um, try and put one here and then point there okay Blend that in, keeping me light to the nose, going dark out. Okay, I'll leave it at that, don't want to go too far. If you can, if you're not happy with these, remember you can sharpen them up just by just running the edge of the brush over. There, okay. Right, so um, there's like what are they, horns or something? Well anyway, I'm going to try and put white over green, hopefully it's dried up. So I'm going to put these spikes in to make it look really scary and fierce. <laughs> so I'm going to go in with this round edge brush. Pick some white up. Hopefully it won't drag the green in, otherwise going to have green horns. But obviously it dries quicker on skin if I was doing it on my rubber head. I'd have to wait a while. So we've got one coming here. I'm going to use the round, drag it up and then turn the brush to make a point. Um, easy enough to do. Pick some more up and try and go over that. So drag the thick part and as you're coming up turn the brush to make a spike. And then again, we'll do the same just underneath. We'll go lower down a bit and drag up. So, using the thick end to start with, place it down, pull up, and as you're going up, just turn it so you get that nice thin end. on this bottom part. The has, green has gone in there. I mean you could go over it again but if you've got a lot of kids there you 
you're not going to bother. You just rely on your line work. Right, so we go here, thick end of the brush, drag it down, and as you come in, just turn it so it goes into the thin edge of the brush. Just twirling it basically. And just dump that, there we go. There's one. We'll do a second one inwards towards the nose. Pick end and drag. <laughs> That's quite effective. Um, I'll try and get the bit of green off. Let's see. I'll just go over that last one. And then drag, pull. And uh, drag, twist and pull it out. And there we go. That's quite effective and we'll complete them. We'll carry on on the other side, mirroring this side. So we go from here, and thick end, pull it up. And twist the brush. Might have to do of hand work there. Quite awkward doing it this way. Again, lower down, starting here maybe on and pull up. There we go. And again, go down to the bottom part, do a couple, couple more. Thick end of the brush, drag, and then turn it, twist the brush to get that thin line for the sharpness of it, the horn. And the same here, thick end of the brush down and turn as you're pulling out. And there we go. <laughs> that looks scary. Try and get that a bit more white, just rub that layer off. Lovely, very spooky, scary. Right, there's a little bit of a tint of green in there, but you can tell that what they are, so that's good. Now we'll move on. To some lining work, so go on to my lining brush. It's actually past its best now, the paint's all coming off. These are used a lot. <laughs> right, let's pick some black up. Lining work finishes finishes the thing off, it looks fit, but well, it pulls it all in basically. So, to take up. Pull it up, follow it right up, and then in the edge of the brush, joining on, and pull it up. And we'll just completely line everything. So, up, pull in. It just makes it pop, basically. Picking my black up. And follow this lot around. And there we go. Carry it on. Just put a bit of water in there. It's a good little design. I think it'll be quite a popular one. I'll be adding it to me board of designs. Up and bring down. Just to give them edges a bit more sharper, pointier looking, reptile looking. Oh, I've just gone through my tooth. Okay, 
and turn. Okay, looks like a mask. I mean, you could probably do the full face. I've done the full face design. I'll probably do that another day because I've got a bit of a cold, so I've got dry skin around my nose. I'm constantly blowing at the minute. So that's why I've, not, I've opted out for the full face today. I mean, you don't really need to do the lining. I mean, it looks fine as it was, but if you like me, I like it to just go the extra mile. I mean, obviously, you'd be quicker as well if you're doing it on someone else's face. It's always easier painting someone else's face, never your own. <laughs> I'm happy with that. Now let's go around these horns. And let's look carefully. That's one done. It just sharpens it up as well. If you didn't get your edge quite sharp enough, that doing this lining work will t just sharpen it up basically. You never worry too much about your base work. Just work, practice on your lining work, and you'll be good. gone over a bit there but you know it still looks good enough kids aren't bothered if you overlap a bit <laughs> drag that down there so I'm happy with that I'm going to put a few wrinkles in it to make him look fierce and like he's growling so just gonna drag here try down drag and drag same on this side drag drag <laughs> and we'll give him we'll join these on just to make him look Lizard like couple of lines here. Sort of Spider Man cobweb effect. Pulling them in. Could have gone around a bit. side just trying to do finish lines okay and then I think I'll add a couple of eyebrows I think raised ones so turn in up here looks a bit like Hulk now. 
yeah, that side. I'm just joining on to that line that's already been made. This might be fun, I'm going on my eyebrow. It's never easy painting over your eyebrow. Of spiky ends to his. Oh, there we go. Yeah, like that. So I'll do the same on that side. There we go. How does that look? <laughs> um. Right. All I have to do is I'll just add a few uh, jet line like. Pull these just to give the teeth that old look about them, like just pulling down and coming off at the end of the brush, lightning heavier handed at the beginning, and then just pulling off a bit. So and again the other side. Repeat this side. It's like doing whiskers. Also it just gives a bit of shading and yes, I'm happy with that. Now I'm gonna pick up some red <clears throat> and give the end of the tips of the jaws or whatever you want to call them <laughs> a bit of red for looking like it's blood not really picking up on the um, camera too well just on the tips That doesn't really have to be perfect. Yep, I'll leave it at that and then I'll just add a few dots of red here and there so it looks like he's been eating somebody. <laughs> like specks of blood. A couple here. Couple here, around the horn area. Or he could have been in a fight with another dinosaur. And then I'll probably finish off with a bit of blood around the mouth of the kid because they like gory, smudged it up here. He's wiped his claw on his face. I think my video just cut out on me, so this is anyway. Just wanted to show you the end results. I added the blood on the mouth, and yeah, so. Sorry that it cut out, I'm just getting used to my new camcorder. <laughs> but as you can see, that's the finished product and I think any kid would be happy about that. And there you go. Anyway, if you like, you know, comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Ah, rah. <laughs> Bye for now. Bye.